So what do you have going on tonight? Nothing really. You're not working on anything? Nah, I don't really feel like working on anything right now. I'm just gonna take the night off. How about you? Just watching YouTube. I found this one channel called Night City Crafts. <laughs> Never heard of it. He makes some pretty cool stuff. Good for him. You should check it out. He might give you some actual good ideas. I doubt it. What happened? Okay, well we gotta find him. Get a search party together. And do not let Dr. Plague know that he is missing. We need to find him faster. He's gonna be... Hello? Crafty, how are you, Chumba? Chumba? What are you... I'm sorry, who is this? I'm Red. It's nice to meet you. Hope you don't mind, I got your deets from this little robot thing guy. Uh, some gonk was trying to sell it, and I totally clipped it from him when he wasn't looking. Okay, look, Red, I'm, I'm having a little trouble following you there, but what I, what I think I got from that is that you have 15? Uh, could be. I think I see a 15. It's kinda hard to tell, cause it looks like it was spray painted on. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Listen, I'm gonna need you to send him back here. Oh, no, I can't- I can't do that. Can't or won't? See, uh, I kinda took it apart. What? It was just so fascinating. <laughs> it was screaming all sorts of things like, No, not the chainsaw, and please put down the blowtorch. <laughs> and, uh, what was in that juice box? It kinda tastes like shoot too, but with rat poison mixed in? You drank it? No, no, not all of it. Uh, just a taste, a drop, just a little on my finger. Uh, but I forgot where I put the rest of it. Yeah, hold, hold, hold on a second. Rumi, check the call. How would I even do that? So, hey, listen, uh, this little guy is a work of art, but uh, don't you think we're due for some new chrome? Oh, what are you talking about? An upgrade, obviously. No, just put 15 back together and- Oh, no, 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 not the robots. Phew. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. Now let's talk about how you're gonna get that formula back to me. What formula? The green stuff you tasted. Look, you really don't know what you're messing with. Oh, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> well, if you want it back, I'll go look for it. But in the meantime, I think you should do something for me. <sighs> okay, fine. What exactly do you want me to do? Now tell me, crafty buddy, are you familiar with cyberware? No. Well, it looks like time to be forced into a project by a deranged lunatic. How you doing, by the way? So after a quick Google search of what cyberware even is, I found this thing called a mantis blade, which I think that's that's my kind of gadget right there, so we're gonna do that. After a brief inventory, I found that I had an abundance of wood, so we're gonna make it out of that. Now as you can see, I sketched out a few template pieces that I am now tracing onto the wood. I'm not gonna go for like, a cosplay kinda accurate mantis blade, I'm just going for functionality over anything else, and as long as it vaguely looks like a mantis blade, I'm gonna call that a win. After the pieces are traced, I take the piece of wood to a bandsaw to cut them out. As you may have noticed, my bandsaw is relatively small, and the piece of wood is relatively big. I, I, that, I, didn't, I didn't mean for that to sound that way. It, it is what it is. The, the wood is big compared to the bandsaw. It's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, after a lot of, I want to say, finagling? Would that be the right word? Repositioning? Thinking about how I'm going to approach this? I managed to cut all the pieces out on this bandsaw. I, I still don't know how I did it. It's on camera and it's like I'm amazed that that actually worked because I was working with a very restricted tool here. But I guess the moral here is where there's a will, there's a way. You know, if you really want something bad enough, you can figure out a way to get it done. God, it actually killed me a little to say that just now. I, if you've been following me for any length of time, you probably noticed I'm not the most positive crafter out there. I'm going to tell you like it is. There's plenty of things rigged against you. There, there are a lot of things we all aren't going to get done. But crafting isn't one of them. You can do this. I believe in you. 
Anyway, after I clean up the edges of all these pieces a bit on my belt sander, it is time to start drilling holes so I can put in bolts to hold this whole thing together. Not really much to say about this part if I'm being honest. I do enjoy using the drill press though, it makes me feel like I'm a machinist even though I'm not. I did take a machining class in my youth though. Funny story that came out of that class actually. See, I used to be really shy and quiet, and there was this one guy every single day in class when he'd walk in, he'd pass by me and he'd be like, Hey, what's going on buddy? How you doing? And I'd be like, oh hey, I'm good, how are you? You know, I'm okay, he seems nice if not a little weird. And then one day I overheard him talking to some people about me, saying how the quiet ones are the ones you always have to watch out for. And basically, he was always nice to me just in case I snapped one day and went crazy and did something horrible in class. And I would hopefully remember that he was nice. So, uh, that was good to know. I mean, I can't entirely blame him. I mean, look at me. You know, it's, it's fair. I never encouraged that, though. I never put that kind of vibe out there intentionally, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, the build video. Uh, next I cut out some pieces of aluminum that I then bent into a sort of half circle shape and these are going to be part of a uh, mount that I'm gonna make to attach the mantis blade to my arm. You know, the, the mantis blade needs to be on my arm somehow and this is how I will achieve that result. And to fasten these pieces together I'm gonna use some leather rivets that I had lying around. I know what you're thinking, uh, crafts, craftsman, the leather rivets on aluminum, that's, that's, that's madness, it's too far, but what can I say, I'm a bad dude, I'm punk rock, you know, sometimes you just gotta get it done. Anyway, after that blatant disregard for the law, I took a piece of 1x2 and screwed it to what will be the top side of this brace. That will be the platform on which all of the mechanical moving parts are bolted to. But before I can do said bolting, I need to do some gluing. And lucky for me, waiting for the glue to dry will delay this project by several hours. And maybe worth noting that I'm putting the bolts in right now just so I can make sure that the holes stay lined up when all the pieces are glued together. Sometimes when you're clamping wood together after it's been glued, the wet glue can make the pieces slide around a little as the pressure is applied, so this will ensure that that doesn't happen. Which in mechanical stuff I think is good. To make sure that things are aligned. And then we come to everyone's favorite part of crafting, which is sanding. I'll, I'll spare you a whole sit through of watching me sand, but just know that it went mostly well until it didn't. Uh, the skinniest piece that I cut out actually snapped, so I had to replace it with an aluminum one that will hopefully be much more durable. I say hopefully, but I, I know it will because it's aluminum, isn't it? Also, after the initial sanding, I sprayed everything with some primer and then sanded it again because wood tends to absorb paint unevenly and it can make things get less smooth as it absorbs it and dries. So I went over it again just to get a little smoother. There's probably better ways to do this. I do not currently know them. If you do, leave them in the comments. After that's done, I hit all the prime pieces with some metallic dark metal Krylon spray paint to make it look less wood. Now, I am of the opinion that making things look a little scratched and weathered always makes them look better. Groundbreaking, I know. So to do that, I took some silver acrylic and dry brushed over all the edges that would, in a real metal piece, be scratched up through use. Dry brushing, for those who are unfamiliar, is when you take some paint, get it on a brush, then you wipe most of the paint off, like 90-ish percent off, and then with what little is left, you go over and lightly brush stuff got to be a better way to say that. I'm sure someone's figured it out. Also, why not throw some silver on the edge of the blade to hopefully give the illusion that it has been sharpened. So to operate the blade, my plan is to have a rope running from the blade to my hand so when I bend my wrist, the blade extends. And I'm putting this little eyelet here because I want the rope to run through it at this angle so that I'm not pulling it awkwardly from where the rope is going to be mounted. You know, it's if the rope is like slanted too much, it'll be a lot of strain to pull it, so this will correct it into the direction that I want it to be, I guess. Alright, pieces made, pieces painted, now we can put this together. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of just putting bolts into things, and I really don't know how to say that in an interesting way. I'm not the best speaker, you probably noticed. Um, so I guess I'll just kinda let you watch this, and I tried to film it in a way that was easy to follow so you can see what the assembly process is, but if I talk about it, it's just gonna be a lot of, and then I put this bolt in. And then I put this bolt in, and then I put this lock washer on the other side, etc, etc, you get the point. So I'll spare you that and uh, just check this part out. Yeah, see what I mean? 
a lot of repetitive tasks on this part, but I, I do feel that it is important to try to convey this as clearly as possible because I feel like this is kind of the whole point of the video, right? Like, how does this thing work? So, uh, hopefully it's not too boring, but this is, this is the part that I assume people are here to see. Maybe this stems from the trauma of my early days when the internet was young and it's, there weren't that many tutorials out there, so it, it took forever to learn how to do some things. It turned out to be really simple, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to save you from, from what I had to experience. Hopefully, hopefully I did a good job, you know, let me, let me know if this is the type of thing that you're looking for. And if it's, if there's something else that you want out of the tutorials, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. As always, I am here to serve you. That might have sounded insincere. That was that was genuine though. I really do want to provide something that will be helpful to you. So yeah, let me know. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to make instructional things more clear. Good God, this part just goes on and on, doesn't it? Okay, finally, the step-by-step -step part is over. Now onto something simple: straps. I'm using some nylon straps and some plastic buckles, and I'm fastening them with the leather rivets again. I know, God, we're using everything but leather on these today. Told you, bad dude. And now all that's left is to attach the cord. I tie one end right here to this bolt that's connected to the spring, and the other side will be tied onto a wooden handle, which I will use to pull on to extend the blade. And now moment of truth. Thank God. And there you have it, my attempt at the Mantis Blade from Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, like I said, I'm not very familiar with the property, but all in all, I think that it... <clears throat> yeah. Crafty Chumba, just checking in, seeing how things are going. Well, I was actually just wrapping up filming when you ruined it with your call. I ain't doing it again, though, so I guess this is staying in. Preem. Say what now? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Uh, look, I sent one of my people over with a present for you. I'll keep looking for the larger chunks of 15 and try and get them back together for you. <sighs> you, can, you can just keep that bit just, just as long as I get the formula back. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thanks. And I hope that new add-on works out for you. Can I see it in action sometime soon? Yeah, sure. The video is about to go up right now. Can't wait. Let's do this again, friendo. Wait, what?